Good day YouTube, it is the 8th of December 2023 and we have the uh, LX178 in on the list, leaking fuel pretty bad. I have the fuel shut off, burning off. What's in the carburetor going to warm the engine up a little bit, drop the oil out of it. Carburetor is oiled and it's oiled. Ordered to be here today. Here it's running like garbage, really, really rich. Yeah, that'll put leaking pretty soon when it runs out of gas. <laughs> so, it, yeah, carburetor's just jacked. I've seen enough videos on YouTube to remind myself that there is no sense trying to make that one work. Just got one coming. Um, lots of parts are ordered for this thing. PTO switch, ordered. Brake lock lever that's missing, ordered. Uh, what else? There's a ton of stuff. The... Hmm, going to do oil and filter today. Uh, a couple air cleaners coming. Spark plugs coming. Two for this and two for the shelf. Um, we have a throttle lever cable assembly coming. Um, we're going to have to address some tires. I aired this one up and it's already flat. Just getting it in the shop. I'd had to run it enough to get it backed on the lift. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, so we are going to start working on this a little bit. I don't know why I got others that are higher priority. I put the uh, painted top back on the truckster this morning. Paint's still pretty soft. We're going to let it sit for a couple days. Um, and so I don't do more damage than I need to. Um, then we're going to start working on this thing again too. So yeah, lots to do. Lots going on. Lots of parts still coming. Um, lots of projects. So Stay tuned. I'm going to get the oil draining on this thing and um, get the carburetor off of it. Wait for the new one to arrive via Amazon by 10 p.m. Um, so probably get it on there tomorrow-ish. Look at getting a couple tires. And yeah. Okay, guys. Here we go. All right. We got the oil drained out of this thing. No big drama there. I had to share something with you, though. So I'm a bit of a scrounge. I don't let people throw stuff away. And I remember at work, maybe 20, 25 years ago, they were throwing out some generator filters and such. And uh, I go, no, I'll take them. Had these on the shelf for, let's just say, 25 years. And yesterday, when I was ordering parts for this right there, for this John Deere machine with the uh, liquid cooled uh, Kawasaki engine. I did a cross reference to the oil filter on this. Of course, there's like a hundred different filters. And you know what? The 70185 Generac filter came up. It has paid off 25 years. I've stored these, if I got two of them, I've stored these filters today i get to use them that's a win all right we got the oil all changed um i raised it up a little bit i cleaned up the back of the fuel tank so you can see the level that's in it what how much gas is in it and that's the level for the hydraulics okay i was going to change it if it needed to i got the cap and the little air filter thing off of it but I took a screwdriver down there. And you can see how nice the fluid is. I ain't changing that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. This thing's had some care in its life. So we're good to go. I'm going to button this back and put the seat back and on to something else. I think we got to pull this carburetor off of here. In preparation for the new one's arrival soon. Today, according to Amazon. Just ordered yesterday. Um, while I was fiddling with this this morning in order to get it up on the rack without busting a gut, I went ahead and changed this fuel line in here. Put the fuel filter and a new shutoff valve on it. This is the new fuel line here. So that part is good to go. Let's pop this off. I tried to let it run the fuel that was in the carburetor out. So there wouldn't be much fuel in there when we take this apart. Ta-da! Smart. Good job. 
let's uh i think we can get this intake off here i don't know if we got to pull all this junk off of here or not i don't not planning on it anyway she's a 10 millimeter she's a 10 millimeter So it'd be just my luck. I've had a few Amazon packages get lost and whatever. It'd be just my luck. We'll get this all off. Preparing for the carburetor that's supposed to arrive later today. And uh, it'll be lost in the mail or damaged in shipment or whatever. I had one of those this week. Damaged in shipment. Yeah. New controller for my left SIG reel. I ordered it like weeks ago. We're going to need it like in a week. Supposedly it'll be here Monday. All right. Breather hose. Disconnected. Lenny tight. All right, let me pull some of this off for a minute. I'm going to take the throttle cable off because we got a new one of those coming anyway. Let's we'll get it out of here. I'm going to take this off in order to get the linkages off. Um, throttle linkage here. There's got to be choke linkage in there somewhere. We'll figure it out. Been doing this a long time. All right, I thought I would bring you back. Um, so, the getting the choke linkage off um, by taking off this plate was pretty easy. The throttle linkage, which is obviously attached to the governor arm, is a little more difficult than it is way back here. Rather than taking all this stuff off to get to it, all this air duct stuff. I'm pulling the studs on the carburetor so that I can move it around and get the linkage unhooked without damage. So let's just do the double nut routine. Get them, get them tight and you hear it break loose. Okay. It might have a little Loctite on it from the factory. So we'll work it a little. Be careful with it. It's an aluminum, right? She's coming out. I really think that'll allow us to move the carburetor enough to get that throttle linkage off the governor arm and that itty bitty spring. Okay. I'm gonna get in here on my little stool. Sure, this will give me the access that I need. There's the bolt with a stud, and now oh, the fuel line. I never took that off, did I? There, took it off the carburetor. That was easy. Highly recommend doing it that way, guys. Okay, now then. I'm going to leave this carburetor just kind of close, I guess. Maybe we should take it up, take it apart and see what was in it. Hmm? Should we do that? Yeah. So I've just left that the linkage in the spring just kind of hang in there now. So I'm going to get the gasket surfaces cleaned up a little bit and hopefully Amazon is true to their word and bring me my carburetor. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Amazon was true to their word. I had to take off for a few hours, another town, go sign some paperwork, and carburetor was on my porch when I got home. 
here's the label on it. I don't know if it does you any good or not. It was just an Amazon search for a carburetor for the LX178. It was about 22 bucks, and it came with some clamps and filter and a valve and gaskets and a little uh, carburetor cleaning brush kit. So there it is. Let's put that baby on. It's, uh, you know, just the opposite way she came off. All right, got that new carburetor all in. So, guys, if you're doing something like this on one of these engines, you know, pull this plate, just two bolts. Be real careful with the linkage, okay? But it's easier to manipulate the choke linkage if you pull this off. You just got the governor spring right there. That's easy enough to deal with. And then pull these studs, okay? That way you can get the carburetor, you can drop it down, you can put it wherever you want it instead of having to pull it three inches all the way out front. Um, and then putting it back together is no big deal. So it's uh, fairly painless. Take something that others might deem complicated um, and simplify it. So we didn't have to take none of this air dam stuff off of it or this damn air stuff off of it, however you want to say it. But anyway, this thing should be ready to fire in the hole. So, uh, what do you say we start it up? All right, open the door behind you. It's cold and dark outside now. It's getting kind of late. We ate dinner early, so I can work late tonight. Um, yeah, so this thing will have to pump up some fuel. I need to turn the gas valve on this time. I kind of forgot to do that last time. So, uh, I did not hook the throttle cable back up. I got a new one coming. That one's broken. And uh, this is choke all the way that way. Okay. So, here's choke. speed adjustment screw is it's right here that's what I was adjusting the carburetor sits this way idle speed adjustment just hits, hits the stop there is that the smoothest quietest running small engine you've ever heard in your life that
$22 carburetor, you cannot beat that. Holy smokes. Well, guys, I'm going to have to figure out what's next on this. Uh, probably front tires. I don't have any ordered, but I might go out and look. I might have one or two new ones on the shelf. Not sure what I got. We'll check the size. We'll go check the stock. And we'll... Uh, I got another yellow wheel out there with a, a used up tire that won't hold air. And then the left front on this one won't hold air. I might put new ones on those two wheels, seeing how this one does hold air and might become handy to have a spare one that holds air. Let's start this one more time. I gotta hear it run again. Fantastic. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate a thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification. We're going to be working on this machine. We've got two other John Deere's. I'm calling them the twins because they're built about the same year, but they're different models completely. And uh, we've got lots of other stuff to do. We're still working on the 55 Cushman. Um, and we maybe got a surprise or two still. So, guys, thanks again. We'll see you on the next video.